want to go off a little bit off our script because I, I'm curious uh, about uh, your other practice area, litigation. What are the what what are the what are the areas that you're excited about or that you are very comfortable handling? So I do appeals. I'm a certified appellate specialist. You know, there's 200,000 lawyers in California, and there's only about 600 of us that are certified by the state bar as specialists in appeals. And um, I've done over 150 appeals in the California Court of Appeal. And so I'm very comfortable handling those, whether they're civil, criminal, probate, family law, et cetera. And we help trial lawyers, you know, when they've lost, they come to us and we co-counsel with them. We figure out the best strategy to present a case in the court of appeal or on an emergency writ to try to get them a better result. Um, walk me through that because you mentioned it in our one-to-one. Like, what is, what is, since I don't practice this kind of uh, law, what is an emergency writ and what, what does that consist of? So an emergency writ usually comes up in the context of, uh, let's say, a discovery issue where privileged information is about to be disclosed or uh, a judge assignment issue that comes up pretty frequently where a judge has sought to be disqualified with a peremptory challenge and the judge hasn't recognized that they need to step aside. Uh, or we have filed writs uh, in the context of um, motions to expunge Liz pendants. Uh, there's some areas of the law where the only way to get the court of appeal to review what the trial court did is to take an emergency writ right then and there within 20 days. If you wait till the end of the case and wait for an appeal, it's too late. You can't review it. So motions to expunge the Liz pendants is one of those. Oh, I learned something new. 